How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. I'm going to show you a helicopter that we've covered on the channel before, but right now it's at a heavy, heavily discounted price. Stay tuned, we're going to check out the Rotor X. Many of you recall, we checked out this same helicopter about two or three years ago at Oshkosh. But at the time, it was probably named something different. That's because this helicopter now has a new owner. And let me step back so you see the beauty of this thing. This is one of the few home-built helicopters. And by home-built, you look at this thing, you don't even think that this is a kit, <laughs> but this is one of those aircraft that you can get a kit and build it yourself. But there's also build assist available for this aircraft, which I highly, highly recommend. But let's let's go around it. It's an entry level helicopter. You see here we have the tail rotor there. It's a two bladed rotor as well. And I believe the first time we covered this thing, it had a Volkswagen. Uh, Volkswagen engine and it was around 140 horsepower but there's so much that's been done a lot of modifications to this thing and the current engine that you would get with this bird is actually built now at the factory so no longer Volkswagen you're getting a company built engine with 180 horsepower turbo as well but before I start salivating let's get in the interior of this thing because that's where I like to be. So you see here, quite large ca cabin and you've got about 42 to 44 inches of width and it is a two-seater, but I imagine if you're flying one of these, you're probably by yourself or maybe you carry one more person with you. And speaking of this cabin, you can carry a ton of weight. Well, maybe not a ton, but in this helicopter with fuel fuel, you've got about 17 gallons of fuel capacity, you can carry, you got a good 500 pounds or so of weight that you can carry. So you can literally 200 pounds, 250 pounds, and you will be absolutely fine in this uh, aircraft. Now let's look at how simple your avionics is. Something unique to uh, experimental air aircraft is you have your choice of avionics, and this one uses what looks like MGL. And what's nice about MGL is that you can program it and set it to uh, whatever you need. Also, the screen interfaces can change, and it is very, 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 very affordable. Uh, compared to the prices of the, the Garmin's or the uh, Dynans of the world, MGL is an entry-level affordable avionics, which also makes the entire price of this helicopter uh, a lot cheaper for folks. And again, just look at what you're getting. Let me step back again. Look at what you're getting. You're climbing at 1,000, 2,000 feet a minute in this helicopter, and you have a max altitude of 12,000 feet. Now, think about helicopters. You generally are low. You're not doing anything near 12,000 feet, but you can't fly up to that. But let's talk about the price. Before I dole out the price, let me tell you a little bit about the performance in this thing. As I mentioned, you're climbing out at up to 2,000 feet a minute, but also you're not burning a lot of fuel. The total operating cost for this bird per hour wet is about 80 bucks. That's because that engine likes car gas more than it loves half gas. So if you can get it, you can put car gas in this thing and go places and you're not burning a lot of fuel per hour. Now, let me tell you how much this is gonna cost you. You ready for your jaw to drop? The kit for this aircraft, and that's with everything included. The kit engine, $115,000. That's it. And you can either build it yourself or go through a build assist. And guess how much the build assist costs? 25 grand. So for about $150,000, you can have your own personal helicopter. That's it, for 150. You don't need a million dollars, you don't need half a million dollars. For $150,000, you can get yourself in a nice 
Rotor X. If y'all have any questions, I'm still a little shocked by the pricing on this thing, but please do leave your questions in the comments. And also, if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will be sure to update you on this particular aircraft. I'll catch y'all on the next video.